see. All right, walking around the uh, the complex here. <laughs> yeah, they decorated everything. <laughs> yeah, this is where we live right now. As you can see, this is a I call them the the brownstone design. So they kind of remind me of like a New York style apartment or building. And we live in actually not this one, but one further over, right by the canal. So we don't have anybody overlooking us, but we do have a nice view. And uh, this over here is a, like a recycling area. Your glasses and bottles and things like that there. Over there, like household waste and stuff like that. So, yeah, oh, somebody on a, on a scooter. And then these buildings and also part of our complex. Glad we don't live in one of those because as you can see they are just enormous, very tall. I guess if you want to be able to see over the crowds, they're great. And they're not they're nice apartments inside. We did look at some before we chose the one we're living in, but still. Um, I don't like that style very much. Um, but they're convenient. I guess uh, See, buy a place in rugby doesn't look so bad when you look at those. And then next to us is another complex, which you can see over there with the little pointed roofs. That's uh, also a comp uh, housing complex with their own apartments there. Tall ones again, but we like these lower level ones. And there's a playground for the kids over here. Let's go have a look at the playground and see what the kids... Obviously, this is one of Jing Jing's favorite places when she's with us. She might be later today, apparently. And this is the, down there you can get to the underground parking, so everybody has a parking space, etc. And this is the playground. It's even got like a little running track here, which is kind of cool for kids maybe to learn to ride a bike on. And lots of toys for them to play. There's the, one of the I don't know, you wouldn't call him an IE, right? Because that's for women, what do you call this guy? He's not an IE, what do we say? The guy who's cleaning, do they have a name? Qing Jie Gong. Qing Jie Gong, okay. So he's cleaning up. He does that every day. And a climbing frame. Yeah, got a bit of everything here. Yeah, Qing yeah, Jie likes this one, this is her favourite slide. Yeah, it's quite a kind of fun all right we're gonna go out the complex now and into the outside world and you can see more of those buildings over there in fact if we go out through the gate over here in this direction there's even more of those buildings but yeah it's a nice complex I like it yeah. The uh, sun is rising over the building over there. Uh, let's, uh, let's go on then. And by the way, the gold wrapping is not for Christmas. <laughs> That's what they always wrap around it here to protect the trees and the bushes from the cold weather. Is our main entrance. Uh, I guess we need the key, don't we? No, we don't, not to go out. Uh, well, a lot of people over here. I've never seen so many people like this before. <sighs> well, what's this building with the, this here? Is that the school? That's ah, a police station, okay. Yeah, hang on. Nobody there, hang on. Let me get the, oh, I don't need the key, do I? Yeah, that's right, I was thinking I need the key. Yeah, so, over here, this is the police station. <laughs> kind of, I don't know if anybody remembers Trumpton as a child. Did they ever watch Trumpton? Kind of reminds me of that. Uh, and then some more of the other buildings from the other apartment complex. And then our, build, our complex continues 
through those gates into more high-rise and more low-rise apartments. And you can hear the fireworks going off in the background. Oh, and we got a little bit of decoration going up, ready for Chinese New Year, right? Yeah. Yeah. And this is the name of the place, Art Wonderland. Yeah. All right, we're now we're out on the main road. Uh, you can see some decorations up in the lampposts, ready again for Chinese New Year, which isn't too far away. And we're going to head this way. And you can see these tall buildings, they go on a long way, all the way down here. But this side, I don't know if you can see, but you'll see very little, very, very few people are actually doing anything on them because they're empty for the most part. So they built them. Uh, you know, kind of like feel the dreams. If we build it, they will come. But unfortunately, in this case, they haven't come, at least on this side. So maybe in the future, they'll start to, uh, to fill up. But at the moment, most of these are empty. They don't even have any decoration. They're just shells inside, apparently. So if you bought, buy one, you've got to completely decorate it and put your own stamp on it. But there's lots of them and they continue. You can see down here. This may be a little jerky today because my knee's playing up a bit, so I'm not walking as smoothly as I could do. And I don't know if anybody knows, notices this. We always have this in China, which is for blind people to help them find their way around because they can feel the surface more easily than they can here. And there are some junctions, etc., to show them where to turn, things like that, apparently. So, kind of cool. So, as I say, this is still uh, the same complex that we live in. But uh, what's going on here is there's another entrance and another kind of sales office and another area for people to go in. But this side is predominantly empty. I think the few places where we can see clothes hanging are probably construction workers who are doing the inside of the apartments up and they're hanging their washing. Because not many have been sold, apparently. Yeah. Oh, they still have their Christmas tree up. We had a Christmas tree on our side, but they took it down just after Christmas. But this one, they haven't they haven't removed it yet. So you go here. You can see the Christmas tree. So right down the middle there. Huh. And a little bit of uh, sculpture or something, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what you call it exactly, but interesting. Hmm. And we shall continue. One thing you have to be aware of here is these electric bikes, which are very popular. They're everywhere. And even though they have a lane right here specifically for the electric bikes, most electric bike riders choose to ride here on the pavement. And because they're electric, you can't hear them coming until they're right behind you when they sound their horn. Uh, so it can be a bit of a shock to the system. But... Uh, yeah. There you go, there's an example. I didn't even hear that one coming. If it had been behind me, I wouldn't have known it was there until she hit her horn and scared the living daylights out of me. Uh, lots of... 
I think that's they speak for themselves don't need anything from me but this is kind of weird we have a nice pavement like this and then suddenly uh, what happened and then it continues again <laughs> so I'm guessing they've had to dig that up since they built it which is another issue we have here sometimes is they build something like the apartment we were living in before the uh, sewers which had the build the buildings are only five years old but the sewers didn't have the capacity they needed for the number of people living in the apartments so they had to dig them up and replace them in less than five years i think probably something like that's been going on there so if we go along this way we'll go over the canal which is the same canal that we can see in front of our apartment and the last time I came here, maybe not today, but the last time we came here, there were guys in boats who, I guess their job is to clean the canal, get all the trash out of it and rubbish. Because the one problem we've got, I see, is that there are lots of people who like to fish the canal, but uh, they leave their crap behind when they leave. So you get uh, paper cups and plastic bags and stuff that end up falling in the canal. So these guys go along and clean it out which is nice kind of like the CRT in the um, UK yeah we can do that yeah that's true we haven't done that yeah let's walk back along the canal then, once we get there and I'm not doing a very good job of keeping myself I'm not doing a very good job of keeping myself in frame here Because, yeah, that's the, the best way, right? There is a path, so we should use it. As we'd be damaging the grass. I want to do that. By the way guys if anybody's wondering i'm using the filmic uh filmic pro app called double take to do this so that i can use both cameras at the same time it works really well don't have a lot of controls but enough for what i need <clears throat> more fireworks every day we don't know why but it could be someone getting married, it could be a shop opening, but there's always something being set off here. Uh, this is an entrance. You see the lady here? All the entrances look like this. And they have the same problem we do. Someone keeps leaving the door open. So, and there's an electric fence. I'm not sure if that's to keep us in or keep people out. No, it's to keep people out. So you've got an electric fence, you've got CCTV occasionally that the uh, security guards can monitor. But yeah, and there's a guy over there sitting in the cold. I don't, I remember when I was a kid, I used to go fishing with my grandfather, but we only went fishing in the summer. I don't remember no much fishing at night in the winter. So too cold to be sitting there, I think. popular canal for fishing. Always lots of guys. have these beds of reeds here. Must be a reason for that. Why just leave that there like that? 
maybe it's uh, good for the condition of the water in the canal or maybe it's uh, to help the fish have some protection in the heat of the summer I don't know I don't think our guys are cleaning the canal today like they were last time we were here. cool for me somebody thinks it's beautiful today mm. <laughs> I think it's cold but there again it's okay it's good it's healthy what's Oh no, that doesn't go anywhere, right? It just goes across the other side. Yeah. Uh, the water level is very low. As you can see on the other side there, there should be at least another, probably, half a meter deep. But uh, at the moment, it's quite low. I don't know why. But anyway. So, here's another worker doing some cleaning and tidying. But it works, you can probably hear in the background. Playground here, look. Right here. I thought there had to be more than one for something this size. Is it any different from the other one? It looks like the other one's better. This doesn't even have a big slide. Is a lady doing her yoga or something? Is that what that? Oh, it's just the police station that's playing the music. Okay. Sorry? I can't hear you. What? Uh, before. Yeah. Uh, it's not finished. Uh, oh, you yeah. couldn't get all the way down here? Yeah, oh, okay. No, right, here's another. Re is this a recycling one, right? Again? Yeah. Oh, that's what it is, a kindergarten. That's, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Right, that's why there's another playground there. Ah, okay. Huh. Wonder why Jinjin couldn't go to this one. Hmm. Okay, so here's our recycling stuff. Very efficient. And these open later in the morning. Hmm. Now, on this side of the canal, you can see how what we in the UK would have called allotments. Little areas that the locals have basically acquired. I don't know how they've acquired them, but they've decided to grow vegetables, etc., on them. So, yeah, you see quite a lot of these around here. I don't know how well you can see. Yeah.
Yeah, but this, this canal is very low. Wow, I don't normally see these rocks and things down here. Oh, that's better. Back in the sun. Very nice. And a couple, ooh, yeah, a lot of fishermen here. I cannot see if I can, I can't tell if I can see them on the screen because the glare on the uh, iPhone screen is so bad, I can't see a thing right now. It's like I'm looking into a mirror, which is not a pretty sight. But yeah, four of them in a row there. And more fire. Oh, here we go. Maybe you can see them. somebody getting married or shop opening right that's usually why right <laughs> yes but some, sometimes when people are I feel boring in this. <laughs> feel bored. <laughs> Not feel boring if they feel bored. Okay, feel yeah. Bored. So it's just <laughs> like. What? Set off. Yeah. <laughs> and the thing is, in Shanghai, you can't do it. But here, there's even a shop around the corner that's selling them openly with the police walking by. They don't seem to care. So I guess uh, fireworks are okay here. Yeah. Be a little warmer for me, but yeah. Okay, go on, do exercise. Yeah, go on then. <laughs> oh, look, Amy's, Amy's definitely feeling energetic today. a silhouette of the buildings almost yeah. well, finally I can see what's what's in my on my screen now <laughs> yep. now I've got to get my gimbal out because while this is good it's just I can tell you guys are gonna get motion sickness watching me because I'm bouncing around so much. But, uh, yeah. Sorry about that. Next time I'll use my gimbal instead of hand -held, whole hand holding it like this. Uh, now, let's see. I'm going to stop here for a minute. So, if you can see over in this direction, um, right, <laughs> it's hard to do, right here, this low building is where we go for our shopping, that's the supermarket area, and then right next here is, is the school, which is across from our apartment, so this is a, what do you say, middle school, right? Our primary school, okay, so yeah, the kids have gone in now, but every morning we see them all on the playing field lining up and the music playing and saluting, well not exactly saluting the flag, but you know what I mean, doing that sort of stuff. And right up here, and again I can't see very well if I'm even showing you the right building, but hang on, let me go around here a bit more, I don't know if you can see I'm hard to see. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out if I can show you our apartment, but I can't. It's so hard to see on the screen. Okay, now then, let's go back this way, I think. So we are. Yeah, we are this one. Right. Uh, right there that's us well that's our 
balcony and then next to it is the window for the bedroom right right there you can't really see it very well i'll try and do it in in the software later okay but that's where we are so our view from our balcony is this which is really nice very peaceful not overlooked at all and as i say across there not very far away is a big supermarket where we can get most things except british food can't really get that but we get most of the other things we need so and uh, i think i'm going to sign off there for today because otherwise it's going to be just too long and boring for you guys hopefully that gives you an insight into where we live in this area we're going to go explore some more later